guys, there is every chance today could be the single greatest day of thrifting you and I have ever had. I have no idea if that's going to be the case, but we can only hope. We can only dream, guys. And I'm very much looking forward to diving into today's episode to see what we can uncover. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well. Trip to the Thrift Thursday morning. You guys know it's my favorite day of the week. I'm really, really excited about jumping into the first one. We are live on location. Salvo store right ahead of us. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing what we can grab today. Guys, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're here for the first time. I put out these videos every single Thursday. We're up to episode number 43 now. 43 weeks straight we've been punching out these videos together. And you guys have been there every single step of the way. So jump on board. Hit the subscribe if you're yet to tune in and uh, give the video a like. Great way to support the channel. Like I said, guys, we're live on location. Let's dive into a big episode ahead. I'm looking forward to it. Always happy to start my day in the thrift with a pair of Nike running shoes, guys. These are a really cool pair of Nike Freeze, and uh, I've only paid the $6 for them. Soles are pretty good. I think I'm gonna be able to push upwards of about $40 for these. I found the Vans shoes as well. Uh, paid just $5 for these, and I do think they'll clean up pretty well in the uh, washing machine, so uh, pretty happy to find these ones. I'm always picking them up and selling them for about the $40 price point. This Thrills t-shirt was a really, really cool tee, guys. I really like the acid wash on this one. It was only $4. It was a women's size 10. Uh, Thrills, if you can find the brand, it generally goes on to sell pretty well. I really just like the look of this, and I'm going to try and push about $29.99 free postage. I found this Panthers uh, NRL uh, pair of footy shorts as well, guys. I swear on these. They sell in such a quick space of time. Uh, I've only paid the $4 for them, and again, $29.99 is generally my price point. So I was happy to find those. This as well was uh, an FC Barcelona tee. I really like the sort of the uh, cityscape front print. I uh, hadn't really seen this one before. I think it's more just a supporters jersey than in any form of playing jersey, but I just kind of like the look of it. So for four bucks, I grabbed it. I've also found these, which is probably the steal of the day for $2 each. 11 New Era baseball caps, a 1985 World Series. So really cool, guys. I'm pretty stoked with these. There's 11 of them. And as I said, a 1995 World Series to, uh, cap there going for about $55 on eBay. So super stoked with that. All the teams that you'd want to be seeing. Uh, I really do think if I can push anywhere between $40 to $50 for all of these, I'm probably going to get it. So an unbelievable get in the thrift for just 2 bucks a piece. All right, guys. Not too bad of a first start to the day. I'm able to spend $57. I've got a stack of items. Feeling pretty good about things. Those hats are going to be interesting. $2 a piece. We'll see how we go with those. Um, let's keep charging. Op shop number two. We'll see how we go in there. The Rolls Royce of running shoes, the Hoka One One, found in the thrift. There were three of these, three pairs of Hokas in the thrift, and they were asking $25 a pair. Guys, even at $25, I was seriously considered buying these because the resale value is anywhere between $80 to $100 each. The issue here, though, was the sole. I actually deliberated over the soles for quite some time, and in the end, I have gone ahead and passed on all three pairs. Uh, I did find some other shoes as well, these Nike running shoes. $20 on these ones, I had to say no. And then I also found the Brooks Glycerin 17. Now these are just a fantastic pair of shoes, in great condition. But at $18, probably a little bit too steep for me. So I left those alone as well. And then there were these Merrill uh, hiking shoes, $10 on these. I probably should have bought them, to be honest with you, because they were in pretty good condition, but I did pass on them. The clothing, I certainly did not pass on. Have a look at this for just $8. A Wallabies Rugby Union Jumper, a 2005 Rugby Union Jumper. This is fantastic, even with the Bundaberg Rum sponsorship branding on it as well. I just like the look of this one, guys, and I reckon I could push upwards of about 50 bucks for this one, especially in this time of year. Now, some Team Australia Gold Coast Commonwealth Games from 2018. I am very fortunate where I am here on the Gold Coast. I do see a lot of this stuff, and it does sell pretty well for me. An $8 jumper here, Australia down the sleeve. This one, again, should be about a $50 sale item for me. Uh, I've been able to find another piece of NFL merchandise. I'll always pick up the NFL gear, guys. $4 for these a size small pair of Oakland Raider NFL shorts. Uh, just a plain black. I'm going to push for about $29.99, and I do think I'll probably get it. 
I thought this was really cool. The two palms, Havana, Cuba, with the Ashes Wash, uh, Acid Wash tie-dye uh, t-shirt. This is really sick. I've only paid $4 for it. Ended up grabbing it in the end. Uh, a bit of a cocktail lounge tea, as you can see there. Like the look of it. Uh, Astro World as well. Travis Scott, uh, absolutely flying at the moment. Uh, a big fan of him, and uh, I did like this t-shirt. So for no other reason, for $4, I have gone ahead and grabbed that one as well. Uh, I should have grabbed this, though. A bit of Barney Cools magic, to be fair. Barney Cools is a great brand. It was a size small, so I ended up passing on it. But uh, have a look at that. Cooked a Burra. That is just a very cool t-shirt. And like I said, I probably should have picked this one up. But for 4 bucks, I've ended up whacking it back on the shelf. But um, guys, the benefit of this day and of this run is that I did have yet another loyalty card, a yet another $20 saved. Everything that you can see here, five items, I've paid just $8. She said that the Wallabies and the Commonwealth Games jumper hit the shelf about 30 minutes ago. So, guys, timing is everything. $8 spent with that loyalty card as well. So, we've absolutely smashed it for op shop number two. Let's move on. Op shop number three coming right up. Strange price points on the shoes, guys. I found these Vans. Look, they are in excellent condition, a $15 price point. But then you've got the hot pink Nike running shoes right next to it with the soles still in pretty good condition for just 6 bucks. I don't get it, guys. I've had to pass on the Vans, but I have taken away the hot pink Nikes for 6 I thought that was a pretty good deal. Uh, I've also gone ahead and found in the women's running shoe section a pair of really nice uh, Reebok Pump women's uh, running shoes. Now, guys, these actually reminded me of the old 90s. TV show Aerobics All Star. So I've ended up grabbing these guys. They were only ten dollars. Thought it was a pretty good deal. Uh, did find a few games as well. The best of the bunch, unfortunately, just for fifteen dollars. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. For that reason, I have had to pass. Uh, this Bogues hat was pretty good. It's just a beer hat. Even in bad condition, as you can see here, this one has been worn. For $4, you could probably turn this one into about $20 to $25, believe it or not, on eBay. Uh, I did pass, though. And then uh, I was in the clearance bin for just a dollar. I found this DVD. Unbelievable stuff. Street Fighter number 2. This one comps on eBay between $30 to $35. Just a crazy find in the clearance bin. Never uh, sleep on those, guys. Always check the bins. Uh, check the clearance uh, one dollars you never know what you'll find and then i found this metal militia uh, windbreaker or big coat um, i don't exactly know what brand it was but i just like the the metal militia patch that you can see there so uh, for 20 bucks it was probably a little steep as was this metallica t-shirt just the four dollars it was a big guy though four xl on the size um, too plain for mine and a little bit worn so for that reason i passed on that one as well all right all right couple of things out of that one. Uh, three items secured in the third run of the day. Not too bad. Hopefully we can get onto the fourth and find a stack because I ain't done yet. Well guys, there you have it. Last op shop complete. And I'm pretty happy with the way things have finished up. You would have seen the DVD of The Wombles. I've never heard of this show. 
um, but I've got every single episode if I want to sit back and have a watch. Uh, the comps on this were incredible. There was only one comp, but it was going for $140. Guys, I paid a dollar in the end for this. There's an $8 tag right there, but she's gone ahead and charged me a dollar because of the DVDs that I bought. I think DVDs were all a dollar, and I went up to the counter with three, and she charged me three bucks. So you take the little wins when you get them, guys. $8 down to a dollar. Uh, and it comps on eBay for 140 bucks. So the Wombles, a 1997 series, all 111 episodes, an incredible get. The 35th anniversary collection. What a way to finish the day in Opshot Run number four. Um, these guys as well, Sonic X. I've seen these a couple of times. You would have seen them in recent Trip to the Thrift episodes. These are in pre-owned condition. I did find four in brand new condition. Paid a dollar for these, paid a dollar for those four that I previously bought. They went on to sell for 70 bucks. So I couldn't say no to that. A dollar each, I'll probably go for about 25 to 30 on those. And then I found some really cool games as well that were comping quite well. There were two games in the end. Uh, there was another skate game. I opened up the case on that one and there was a Halo 3 game hiding inside. So always check your games before you buy them to make sure you're getting what you're looking at. Um, skate 3, comp for about 25 bucks, pretty good. And then the Call of Duty Black Ops, always a standard winner, about $15. But again, guys, I only paid a dollar each for those in the end. Um, a pretty great get. Um, they did have $4 on those games, but he charged me for DVDs, which is fantastic. Um, dangerous book for boys as well. Had a look at all the books in the book series collection uh, in the store. And, um, you know, there were those two series that I showed you guys, but ultimately they, they, the comps weren't strong enough for me to commit to the purchase of $3 a piece. In the end, guys, this one has sold for me pretty previously a proven winner dangerous book for boys and um yeah i grabbed it so i think that'll go to about 30 dollars. a really good hard covered book only paid three bucks for it should ship for about seven dollars fifty as well guys we are done happy days i'm really happy with that last little get there on the wombles dvd no doubt the best of the day um really like that tekken game or not tekken but street fighter i think it was street fighter 2 uh that we found as well in the previous op shop hiding in the one dollar bin it's not every day you get an absolute gem like that in a one dollar clearance bin so very very stoked with that one guys um the hats as well i mean there's a, there's a heap of stuff in here no doubt about it looking forward to getting it all listed up and sold asap i'm going to shoot back home do what i always do list it all up onto ebay edit this video and get it out to you but guys i'm done i'm going on holidays i'm having two days off i've got a good mate of mine having a birthday i'm off to byron bay i'm not going to do any reselling any ebay any youtube i'm just going to sit back and relax and i really look forward to it so thanks for being a part of the journey thanks for tuning into this video hit the like if you haven't done so yet if you're still here watching now my goodness i can't thank you enough for being here thank you very much guys look forward to catching you in the next episode we'll see you soon